everyone's joining and today I'm going to be talking about five books that I think you need to read. So I did this kind of video in the uh, last year and I thought I would do this again and then the reason I picked five books instead of ten just because this year has been a, a bit of a slumpy year for me just because of my busyness with my personal life and upcoming wedding so yeah I just like thought I would just narrow down to five and just talk about the books that I've read recently that I think everybody should read so let's get to the books. <laughs> the first book that I think you need to read is My Current Cherry Mary by Cynthia Hamm, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This is their new, uh, it's like a spin-off series of My Lady Jane but with all the Marys. So this is basically about Mary of Scots where she turns into a mouse and I really enjoy this book and I do really like, I the reason I like about these books, same with my Lady Jane series, is because that you get to read, you kind of get to know the history of these famous like Marys or Janes and then they have like a, a twist to their story which I really like and I think people should uh, read this like any one of them basically but this one I think they should read just because if you're big Scotland history kind of uh, nerd, I don't know, any history nerd, I guess so uh, should read uh, read this if you like a big um, twist tales kind of thing, but yeah, I think people should um, read this just because I really enjoy it and I really like their other series. <laughs> so the next book that I think everybody should read is Well Met by Jen DeLuca. This is basically about a woman who decided to volunteer for Renaissance Fair with her niece, and then she meets a one of the uh, one of the guys that works there. And of course, there's romance involved. I really like this book just because I not only like I really like the characters in this one, and plus it takes place at a Renaissance Fair, which I do really want to go one day, and it just makes me feel like I'm already there, and I just really would love to go to a Renaissance Fair one day and yeah I really like the characters I really like the story and I really like the family dynamics with this book just because that, um, Emily has a relationship with her niece and her sister so yeah I'm just really love this book of users in the mood for any adult romances but um, with something that you want to do or something like that I definitely think you should read uh, Well Met and plus they have companion no novels after this one and yeah I still think people should uh, read this if you're looking for an adult romance. <laughs> and the next book that I think people should read is The Daughter of Sher um, Sherlock Holmes by Leonard Goldberg. This is basically like almost like a sequel series of Sherlock Holmes but told in The Daughter of Sherlock Holmes um, perspective and um, Dr. Watson's son and their adventures. I really like a good retelling but with this one, I find it very unique just because it's like you're still so following some of the characters that, like, um, Dr. Um, John Watson is still alive, but he's with his son, and then they find out that Sherlock Holmes has a daughter and didn't know about that until they met her. So, yeah, and really love this book, and I think it's a good, um, retelling if you're looking for any more retellings and I haven't heard anybody talk about this on booktube and I do think if you're looking for a good retelling I do recommend uh, Dollar Sherlock Holmes especially if you're a big fan of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> and the next book that I think people should read I know pretty much everybody has talked about it by booktube but I really enjoy it so much that I think people should read it which is The Seven Husbands of Emily and Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is about a woman in her life in Ho Hollywood and how she end up having seven different husbands, but this is, I just love this book. I love Evelyn Hugo, and I just love how she's telling her story about her life in Hollywood, and how she became an actress, and et cetera, et cetera, and I just think people should read if you're big, old, um, old-fashioned Hollywood back in the early days, and I just really think people should still uh, read, and I know many people Love this book because it has different representations in here, which I also really enjoyed, even though I don't have much thought about it, but I just really like seeing different representations and books in general, and I just really, I still really enjoy this book, and I still think 
like other people at booktube should not um, everybody should read this <laughs> and the last book that i think people should read is the super villains and me by danielle banis this is about a girl whose brother is a superhero and then she re runs into a super villain who's supposed to be like it her brother's nemesis, but then she finds out he's not as bad as, um, as he is, as everybody describes, and I really enjoy this book. This is another underrated book that I think people should read on booktube if you're a big fan of superheroes, but you want it, like, a superhero story that's not, like, separated from Marvel and DC. I think people should read this, and about a main character who has a sibling who has superheroes, just in general. I really enjoy this book, and I think people should Read it if you're looking for an underrated book that not a lot of people talk about on book, booktube, but I know I haven't seen anybody talk about this on booktube either, so yeah, I think everybody should um, read read this if you're a big fan of superheroes. <laughs> so that's all the books that I think you should, that you need to read. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you um, books that you think I should read or I need to read. <laughs> if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you know if I ever post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!